so uh, we've been on the road for about 13 minutes, uh, actually 14 minutes now, and about uh, 13 miles. And so far, when we got to the, to the freeway, I just let the car drive itself. And so far, it's really smooth. But um, one thing I, earlier, because when I grabbed the phone and I tried to record it myself, uh, the vehicle actually asked me to put my, my two hands on the steering wheel, even though I had one hand on it, it still asked me to put both hands. And then right after I put both hands and I start picking the phone again, and it's again, it remind me like, you know, I gotta put my both hands on the wheels. So the cabin camera, I think it is working and I think they are um, monitoring the drivers, especially if you're using this supervised uh, FSD. So pretty much if you always consistently uh, has to, uh, you have to pay attention to the road. Otherwise they're gonna warn you and probably gonna disengage. So as we look up front right now, the lane's gonna merge into one and Tesla pretty good, it slows down and it takes precautions before merging to lane, which is awesome. All right, so right now, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit more. Again, telling me that I need to uh, keep my hands on the wheel. So I don't know, after this one uh, with the full version, I don't know if they're gonna continue to go constantly asking yeah, us to put our hands on the wheel, but it's kind of a little foggy over right now. So, yeah, but uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, right now it's already, it says precondition on the battery for fast charging. So it has about 292 miles on it, right? But yet it's already preconditioned for the supercharger, which is in Yermo right now. So by then it's like an hour and 21 minutes away. So I don't know why they need a precondition that early, but that's what it does. So the car pretty much does everything by itself. We just have to sit back and relax and kind of, you know, take over if something happens. We got to Barstow and uh, we're at 57%. And if I were to go straight to the uh, Seven Magic uh, Mounds, it, it would, uh, our battery would have been like 16%. So uh, since it's uh, my first time taking the EV, I'm not gonna take a chance. So here, here we are just, uh, you know, trying to charge it up. As you can see right here, the rate at uh, Barstow is 41 cents per kilowatt hour. So not bad, it's even cheaper than the one in West Covina. And this place right here, I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, stations where they have a bunch of chargers. Lot, a lot of charges and it's by the outlet over here too so uh, for uh, you know some of you like you might want to you know charge it for like 20 30 minutes you can also go do a little bit of shopping and come back there are Tesla supercharger signs right there you see it's uh, quite a lot and not too many people are charging yet and this one there's a uh, 250 kilowatt so pretty pretty good and look at how many solar panels they use. Awesome, beautiful. That's how you green energy, right? Use the sun to power everything. So cold over here. It's like oh, super cold. All right, so let's get into the car. Instead of going up to all the way to 100, I just charge up to 90% because it's getting um, the charge was coming to like 41 uh, kilowatts, so it's not that uh, effective. So right now, we're just going to continue with a trip to the seven magic mountains. Uh, yeah, I like halfway. Still my mouth open. Still my mouth open. Mới tới cái chỗ seven magic mountain thôi. Thì mình đi bao lâu rồi? Có thêm 15 phút nữa. Mình mới tới. Mình đi được hai tiếng rồi đó. Mình đi đó thì mới mình đi. Được hai tiếng rồi đó. Okay, so let me explain to you a little bit about the uh, the Fusel driving. So earlier, I've been having it drive by itself, and for some reason, it, it changed. It was on the fast lane to the left, and then it started signaling, and then moved to the right. And then when there's uh, and then when there's like no traffic on the left, there's signal to the left. So like right now, you can see it knows that there's a big rig in the front, so it signal, and then it's gonna change lane. 
and it says if we don't want to change lane we can use the signals to cancel it but it does it is on its own and this is a twice it's already moved to the right lane uh, so other uh, drivers can pass so pretty neat so far loving it uh, locally and then on the freeway and on the highway it's been doing really really good uh, no complaint at all Okay, let's go. Let's get closer. <laughs> so windy. There's a lot of rocks here, guys. Just make sure you wear something comfortable. Get on the track. Oh. Wow. Wow. 